Mission this afternoon after the bodies of a man and a little girl were found in a lower valley canal. I'm Daniel Muddy. And I'm Natasha Paloma. El Paso police say the girl was believed to be preschool age, while the man was believed to be in his 30s and was wearing a life jacket. The relationship between the two remains unclear. Officers found the bodies around 7 last night on Southside Road near a water treatment plant off of Socorro Road. Police say the fire department's water rescue team was training when they spotted the bodies. They were pulled from an area less than a mile away from the U.S.-Mexico border. Police have not confirmed if the drowning victims were migrants. And local water officials on both sides of the border are urging everyone to stay out of the Rio Grande and the canals. Our crew in Juarez today spotted a family crossing the river this afternoon. Take a look at that. As we've told you, the Cavallo Dam was recently released, bringing deep water and fast currents. Authorities say they expect more bodies will be found as illegal crossings continue over the summer. Local advocates have been warning migrants in Juarez about the dangers of crossing. Here's what one of them said at a news conference late last month. What we need is awareness so that we don't have deaths. If this initiative saves one, one ch child's life, if this initiative saves the life of one family, um, then it's been worth it. And the Hope Border Institute said it has put up educational posters like this uh, in about two dozen sh migrant shelters. They say there are about 4,000 migrants in Juarez right now. The man